しょう What today is? It is inspire your heart. It's art day. So, what makes your soul happy whenever you create? Now, art doesn't have to necessarily be crafting. It doesn't have to be drawing. It doesn't have to be painting. Art comes in so many forms, like dancing. Dancing. It's a whole unique art form where you don't even have to talk. But think about it. You dance every single day. From the way you sway to the sides, to the way you step up and step down, to the way your posture is. It's an art. We are walking, talking forms of art. So, how can you incorporate that into your life today? How can your world change? by just incorporating your own personal art. Hold on. Check this out. So, I'm a big advocate in arts. I like to create things. I grew up in the theater. My sisters did that play. One of my sisters is an amazing artist. She likes to paint. Um, such gorgeous things. She actually made my art deck for me. But me, I've never really been uh, a good drawer, at least whenever I compare myself to other people, which is actually key in creating your own art. Don't compare yourself to other people because you are your own person. So I doodled. I doodled my way through school and I loved my doodles so much that I put them on and every single time I see my cloud, I remember that I'm awesome. So I hope your art inspires you today. I hope you find a way to really cultivate your own version of art and show it to the world. Even if you think it's not perfect, that's what makes it beautiful. That's what makes it a masterpiece. That's actually what makes it perfect. See you next time. You got it. It is time for our awesome affirmations. So what are awesome affirmations and why are they important? Well, I'll tell you, don't worry. So awesome affirmations are to reclaim our awesomeness into the entire world. The reason they're important is because they use some of the most powerful words in the English dictionary, which are the words I am. Anything following those words are literally creating the reality. So we use these to reclaim our muchness and our awesomeness in the entire world. So every single day we wake up awesome and we feel awesome every single day because we know we're the awesomest, right? You can repeat after me if you want, but if not, it's totally cool. Um, the words will still soak into your subconscious and go where they need to go. I am awesome. I'm the awesomest person alive. I'm having an awesome day. I'm doing awesome things today. I am the creator of awesome things. It's true. I am awesomely fulfilled. I am totally open to awesome coming my way. 
I am wonderful, beautiful, talented, strong, oh yeah, and awesome. everyone. So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about fun because fun is something that some it's something that I've been working on for a long time. So back in I think 2016 if I'm not mistaken 15 or 16 anyways I did this um the psychic reading with the Boulder Psychic Institute and um one of the things that they said that I really needed to do was just have some fun just have some fun and they said that in this meditation in this the soul searching experience I was as my inner child and there was this ball of light this little ball of light and it kept bouncing around and I was just trying to chase it and for what, what year is it now <laughs> it's 2021 now <laughs> so now that it's 2021 I've realized that me trying to chase this idea of fun hasn't really been working. Well, I guess it, it more or less happened in 2020, that it hasn't been working. But anyways, so after I stopped focusing on trying to have fun all the time, I was able to actually just have fun in every single moment because I wouldn't stop or because I wouldn't be trying to have it anymore. It wouldn't be something I'd be needlessly wanting to do, wanting to try, 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 to try, have fun. But if you just go out and you're just like, I'm about to have some fun, I don't care what I'm about to do, I don't know what I'm about to do, but it's gonna be a good time. Then you start really realizing what fun actually is for you. Then you start going throughout the day and you're smiling all the time because no matter how you're going to the grocery store, you're walking down the aisles, you're having fun because you're jumping around, you're dancing, you're being goofy, you're making weird noises, you're talking to people. You're just having fun. So today, have some fun today. And don't even think about it. Just at the end of the day, if you think about this video, come back in the comments and let me know what you did and how you had some fun. All right, bye. Day is tsunami wake up call. All right, so this is a time just be expecting some kind of wake up call today. It may just be this card, or maybe something physical. Um, the really the answers in your hard headedness are you hard headed or are you not? So, if you're more hard headed, the universe will show you more physical signs, especially if you don't pick up on signs very easily. So, what is this time for you to do? What is this time calling for you? This is typically a time of change or a call to action of some sort. I suggest getting in a meditative state today and Hey, <laughs>